process starts with vats of hot wax in various colors. The candle maker stirs them to circulate the specially formulated dyes. She dips a star-shaped wax core into clear wax and then yellow. The clear wax dilutes whatever color wax follows it. The layers are hardened in cool water. She repeats this process between 30 and 35 times, building up different colored layers on the candle core. As the dipping continues, the candle becomes warmer and softer, which will allow it to be carved. The quick water dips only cool the outer layers. Partway into the dipping, the candle maker deepens the candle's grooves. As she resumes dipping, she has to keep a close watch on the candle's temperature. If it absorbs too much heat, it'll be too soft to carve. But if it's too cool, the wax can splinter. Achieving the right consistency is crucial. It's almost time to get carving. But first, the candle maker squeezes the drippings together and slices them off. They're too attractive to waste, so she quickly shapes them into a mushroom candle. She pokes a hole in the center for the wick, and within moments, the candle is complete. With the big candle at the perfect temperature, the clock is ticking. It has to be carved in just 15 minutes, or it will be too hard to work with. The candle maker slivers the bottom and curls the pieces back. She dunks the row of curls into water to harden them a bit so they don't sag. On the second row, she curls each row in the opposite direction to the one before. She carves a total of four rows with the last curls fixed upright. Using a square edged gouging tool, she cuts a windmill design into the upper section of the candle. Then she shapes the wax cutout into a base for the windmill. Tulips and other designs decorate the top of the candle. She must work with a quick but steady hand. It takes at least a year of training to learn to carve with such confidence. This one is a neat trick. She jiggles a straight bladed knife to cut the fluted edge of a hummingbird wing. One last character, and this carving job is complete. Now, she presses a cookie cutter-like device around the wick. This forms a well that will allow the wax to burn down the center instead of dripping down the sides, which would ruin the carving. She spins the candle in a hot pan to melt the bottom so that it's level. And while it's still hot, she attaches the company's sticker. Finally, an acrylic glaze seals the candle's decorations and protects the finish. Once lit, the light from the clear core shines through the designs for a real glowing beauty.